name is Debbie. I work for Steps. I've been working for them for eight and a half years, approximately. I enjoy the job very much. I enjoy seeing people start from just coming out of hospital and then progressing, hopefully with our help, finishing at the end of six weeks with no further help required. I enjoy meeting people, some good, some bad. <laughs> you just take it as it comes. Well, a typical day would be uh, first thing in the morning, I'll check my Blackberry and we have an application on there that gives us all the details about our visits, times, some information about the services that we're going to. Um, and it's generally around fairly close to home, but we can go further away, obviously. With steps, there's been a lot of people coming out of hospital having had hip operations, and they need some assistance, maybe in the morning, personal care, because they're not allowed to bend from the waist. So obviously we encourage them to do everything else for themselves, but the actual physical bits that they cannot do, we would assist them with. But our role is mainly to encourage people to do as much for themselves and to give them the confidence to do for themselves that they can. Also to try and show them different ways of doing things, because some people, you've got a certain way of like putting on their knickers, for want of a better word, and they've done it that way for years, but they might not realise that they can do it another way, and we can show them. Uh, we can organise their home a bit better for them, show them different ways of maybe placing furniture that will be easier for them. Uh, we prompt them to try different techniques, different ways of doing things to make their life easier. Um, also, the, the lady we're going to this morning is, I believe, a stroke patient. So we will just be following the instructions of a physiotherapist who's been working with her, obviously. Um, and we just follow their instructions then. We don't do anything that we've not got the instructions for, obviously for safety reasons and what have you. Um, but it's I, mainly a lot of our job is confidence building because, you know, some of these people, if they've had a serious accident or illness, it knocks their confidence and they think they can't do anything anymore. And we try and show them what they can.